hi Aquarius this is a bonus read for my Aquarius people because you guys the viewership and the love has been so great so here's a bonus and also you know a lot of readers out there are reading really good things for the Aquarius collective so we're just praying that it all comes to pass and that um, this reading also is nothing but good things so let's get into it all right so thank you this is my thank you to all my Aquarius people all of my Aquarius people I said Aquarius um also take advantage of the five dollar yes or no spread if you have a yes or no question um, that's a thank you to everybody also you know, if you can't afford afford a full reading then take advantage of the five dollar spread also, the extended read is $2. So, look at the Eight of Cups. It kept coming out. So, it looks like the Aquarius is abandoning ship. Abandoning something that they put a lot of emotional uh, energy, time into. They try to have strength and try to push it forward. But it just wasn't happening. It wasn't going in the right direction. Aquarius could never see themselves the Ten of Cups in this, in this thing. Uh job relationship family what whatever it may be uh let's see what's going on what is the aquarius walking away from completely abandoning the alien it looks like something that the this is something that aquarius had been um like going over in their mind for a while like what do i do so they kind of separated themselves in regards to um, evaluating past experience, evaluating the recent past, and understanding that in order to get a different result, I have to do something different. So this is the hermit. Also, some of my Aquarius went to seek uh, guidance, um, maybe a, a tarot card reader, a psychic, counselor psychotherapist uh psychiatrist psychologist whomever but the aquarius went to uh seek guidance by way of looking at past experience so they can make the right decision in regards to moving forward so it looks like the aquarius might uh be contemplating or some of you guys have already moved away from or just in the works of moving away from a um, situation that just doesn't fulfill you. Um, it looks good. On the outside, it looks good. It looks good to everybody else looking in from the outside. But the Aquarius knows. Princess of Swords. Yeah, the Aquarius went to go gather uh, information, research in regards to what do I do next. It's just not panning out well panning out well for me um Aquarius went to go gather uh, a lot of insight there might even be gossip surrounding the Aquarius abandoning ship uh, of things in their life uh, people may be you know whispering about the Aquarius well what are they doing now how do you know or whatnot let's see nine of wands definitely lots of separation here keep in mind the nines talk about separation yeah the Aquarius the Aquarius has um, energetically this is the the physicality of the doing uh, energetically has removed themselves from a troublesome uh, situation um, and now they they are evaluating it from afar in regards to do I want to jump back into this or do I want to release with the ten of wands uh, also the Aquarius may have some this might be a secret admirer or somebody's looking in on you uh, let's see let's keep going let's see ten of swords it whatever this may be the worst is over Aquarius the worst is it can't get any worse than this it can't get it can't get better it can't get any worse 
uh, so then there lies you resting in judgment. Judgment is what ties us to the past and what uh, ties us to the future. It's what we do in the present. So you know it can't get any better. You know it can't get any worse. Will Aquarius choose to stay in it or and try to make it better when you know it won't get any better? Or will they release knowing that you know the worst is over? What will the Aquarius do? Judgment. I'm pretty sure we'll see judgment here. Let's see. All right. And then the Prince of Swords. So the Knight of Swords. This may be in career shift. A, a shift in, in how you earn income. Earned income. This may be something that the Aquarius has been toiling over and dueling over for a while. Like, you know, um my current path is not fulfilling me anymore I don't ever see myself being completely fulfilled in it I might need to shift uh, swiftly shift um, gears here uh, shift paths go on a new path this is like the two week notice the week notice this is like uh, you know okay let's see This, and then you, the star, yeah. This says for the Aquarius out there who is completely feeling like they're walking in the dark, feeling a bit confused about one path and then another, it says you're on the right path. It says that healing, restoration, moving forward um, is to come or it's happening. You're on the right path you uh you are the star uh, you can make this happen for yourself uh complete fulfillment can happen but it's not going to come without uh that tower situation maybe some unexpected event came in and it made you really focus on what was real and what wasn't real in life uh okay five of swords and a nine of cups five of swords and a nine of cups uh, talks about the Aquarius being on the right path to healing. Um, the Five of Swords talks about e even in the mid. Okay, so the Aquarius is trying to abandon something that is just not working. It's not going to work. Some of my Aquarius have made up their mind about that. Uh, but before you can completely get on that right path with the star here there's something that crops back up from the past the five of swords that you have to deal with you have to duel with uh something in regards to your your foundation some big corporation some institution uh the institution of marriage something that's been like traditional and long standing it's whatever this is it's it's uh solid it's um you're gonna have to fight ag against that there might even be some reversal or some cancellation uh in the midst of getting on the right path but look what comes after the fight the nine of cups what you have hoped and wished for is here for you um or it says make a wish it could very well come true what you what you wish for what you feel you are without comes in for you so that that's very very good but uh before you can rest in the nine of cups energy you're going to have to um fight one last fight or there may be some great disappointment or there may be uh gossip jealousy reversal cancellation here um that's okay because even in the midst of that we have the nine of cups we have what we wished for coming in 
where it says make a wish it, it, it's here ten of wands and the queen of pentacles some of you are releasing or have or have released what was a, 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 a voluntary burden like you you chose to carry the torch or so to speak carry this torch uh, which was or which is a burden but now some of you are uh, completely um, concerned about stability health well-being uh, the tangible and the in the in 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 some facet the intangible the intangible asset of that which would be health your physical mental emotional health uh, you you're so concerned about that also there might be some unexpected money look what comes after the nine of cups the release of a burden so now there's unexpected good luck and money that puts you in the place of uh, the queen of pentacles um, making rational solid decisions in regards to everything surrounding you this is really good Aquarius it's like once you release seven of pentacles you may even start to invest uh, or reinvest I'm here reinvest okay seven of pentacles um, when you start to put your your uh, th there's a harvest here uh, there might be a return on investment or you may start to invest seven of cups the uh, high priestess so this unexpected good fortune well unexpected good luck money due to you releasing a burden um, allows you to have um, assets that you can now either reinvest or invest in seven of cups says that there will be options here you need to choose one because they're fleeting also be uh, grounded in, in your decision making in regards to where you invest your time energy effort or what you invest in the high priestess is here saying that your intuition is at an all-time high for you intuitively and instinctually know which way to go the, the high priestess governs the two so the two of wands the two of swords the two of cups um what else do we have the two of pentacles are uh, weighing up where, where do I put all of my my energy, effort, time, even money into? Is this a business or love affair that's favorable for me? Um, it just looks like some good energy comes in to where the Aquarius now has options. The lovers, wow, yeah, making the choice. Most times this is a choice in love, but it could be the life-altering choice too. Um the high priestess the choice and the high priestess you know which way to go these two cards talks about choices uh, the Emperor this could be an older gentleman in your life this may be the life-altering choice do I do I want to become business owner do I want to this is a life altering choice in regards to your stability too. Do I want to go back to my husband? Do I want a husband? Do I want to? Who am I choosing? Justice. Yeah, it might be the life altering choice. Maybe for some of you to even um, divorce. It, it, it might be some court situation here. The emperor, justice. There might be what is karmically due to you in regards to your stability. Maybe for some of you who are business owners, justice is here. Some of you, I keep hearing the buying and the selling. So whatever that is in regards to business, justice and the devil and the eight of wands. the magician some of you definitely are of two minds about also resting in fear fear of 
high, of moving forward you need to have the strength to push forward to make something happen here you're of two minds about it kind of burying your head in the sand in regards to making a decision um, because it's fear based what is this fear six of cups this person or this situation may have not turned out well in the past but it's all you know six of wands the will and strength be strong enough to conquer the devil energy knowing that the whatever is happening is destined to happen you need to have strength in regards to letting change happen letting an ending come in for you so that you can possibly have new beginning new beginning that looks really good let's get some advice for the Aquarius it just looks like something you're trying to allow an ending with the all these nines in the beginning of the reading and then we jump into 110 and then we jump into the wheel um, well we had two tens I think the ten of swords too um, what's the advice for the Aquarius have strength in something ending and changing and shifting someone may come back and say that they changed okay um, what's the advice for the Aquarius well let's do an, the angel answers and then we'll clarify over at my website and see what the advice is see if there's somebody coming back there's also there also looks like a release of this like career finance some of your business owners you might be releasing selling one business starting another um there's lots of gossip talk around you because of your current position let's see reconsider we have a no answer within the next few months it's up to you there's something better nice the bottom of the deck a peaceful resolution so it's like definitely ending you know you're there but then creeps in fear or dissension or just all together I don't know which way to go I don't know what to do um, yeah okay so Aquarius meet me over the other side in regards to this release it looks beautiful after you release something you release someone you release some situation in life uh yeah okay okay all right so aquarius know that i am praying for you pray for me as well take care i'll see you on the other side